So today I'm going to show you how you can add text to a curved or flat surface in Fusion 360 and I'm going to show you two different methods which are engraving text into a body and also extruding text from a body. So let's get straight into it and the first thing we're going to do is just come up to create a sketch and I'm just going to create a basic cylinder just for this demonstration. So I'm going to make this 100mm and then we're going to extrude upwards by any amount. And in order to add some text, you're going to need to create an offset plane. So if we come up to construct and come down to offset plane, we can select any of these axes and pull the plane out in front of your um, cylinder face or whatever curved surface you have. And we're going to hit OK. And then from there, we need to create a new sketch on that plane. So if we rotate, you can see we're now sketching out in front of the cylinder face. And then we can go up to create and come down to text and it's going to ask you to place a point and for now you can just place it anywhere and this menu will pop up on the right and you can just enter some text in there. So I'm just going to enter a value of text and we're going to make a height which is basically a font size. I'm going to make that 20 and then if you click your text you can just drag it around wherever you want. Then when you've, you've done that, just hit finish sketch. And this is now super easy. This used to be a lot more difficult in Fusion 360, but they've recently added some stuff that makes it so simple. So all you have to do, I'll show you engraving first. So if you want to engrave into a curved surface, you just come up to extrude, you click your text, and over on the menu here on the right, where it says start, you want to change this to from object. And once you've done that, it's going to ask you to select the object. So we're going to select the cylinder face. We're going to click that. And notice it's now asking us to push or pull it. So if we pull backwards, you can see now that we're just engraving straight into the cylinder. And it's following that curve as well, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. It's cutting at the same depth for each letter, which is exactly how it should be. So that's how you... So if you hit OK, that's how you extrude backwards into a cylinder face and that gives you that engraving. Now I'm going to show you how to do the opposite and it's exactly the same. So if we just go back down to our feature, right click edit feature, we can now change this. So before we were doing a cut, so we just want to pull it back, change our operation to new body or join depending on what you want to do and you just extrude outwards and that does the opposite. So you can see now it's also following the curve but you're extruding from the cylinder face. And this can this can look really nice, especially you know if, if you've got a kind of slight curve and you can see it just following. Always looks better than having just flat text on a cylinder face. So that's basically it. Just to remind you, my Fusion 360 for Beginners course is launching on Friday. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find out more information. But that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one.